let's say if the television shows are using this, a hashtag is for you to follow the conversation with everybody. So if you go on Twitter and you want to talk about revenge, you put pound sign revenge. Just watching pound sign revenge. So if you want to see what everybody's talking about revenge, you hit on the search engine pound sign revenge. Right? And you're going to see what everybody's saying. That's a hashtag. It creates a conversation. McDonald's just got, just got burned with a hashtag that they created. It came right back at them. <laughs> it was horrible. So in your case, if you want to make announcements, you just tweet a um, new article about SEO. Check it out. And then you put the link. And you tweet that out. Make sure it's no longer than 120. It's a very cheap um, tool also for you guys to use Twitter and you can brand it also. Like if you go on Twitter and you want to uh, put a link to your website or something, it's called Market Me Suite. So just Google that, Market Me Suite. It's a lot of tools out there, but I like this because of the way you can brand it. Okay? So imagine that you're just whispering a little, a lot, a little tip. Okay, and you can tweet as much as 18 times per day, and people are okay with that. They don't think of you as a spam. 18 <laughs> times. Now, everybody has a sweet spot. Two factors: the audience. Okay. That's what's going to determine how many tweets they will take before they consider you your um, a spam. Okay, in the content of it. So let's say that you are, um, okay, so you do marketing social media and you want to start tweeting more. You can say, um, learning, writing an article about, give me an example, what's well, going to be your. Things that Google come up with, you know, Google come up with several yeah, 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 yeah. all the time. Exactly. And then I want to tell my clients, well, they what do is that. the newest on Google? They do that. Just put new update on Google and you put the short link to either your article or wherever it is the where you're sending them. So it's pretty much just giving them a little tease. Think about it like, do you go out fishing? I know what it is. Okay, it's well, it. imagine you're throwing out there the tweet and you're just giving them a little, a little bait. So they go somewhere else to read about it. So let's say about Google updates. That's a great topic because most people don't do. So you can say, Google just changed blah, mm -hmm. and then you put the link to it. And it could be your article, all right? And that's what you do, that's how you do Twitter. It's small little, you've got to think about saying the most important thing with those 120 characters and including the link. Mm -hmm. So then they can retweet it, because if they retweet it, people will come back to you and follow you because they see you as an authority. And that's the organic. Um, that's how you grow. Now, if you guys use marketing suite, and we'll go over that, I guess, of the class, I'm going to have to add that. <coughs> What's the, is the tool to teach you about the marketing suite? No, to so use Twitter. Okay. The good thing, that one of the great things about using softwares, and all of you are going to have to get used to using softwares. Yes. Also, uh, with links and Twitter, there's a... Services you can use to shorten those links so you have more space available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just told you about Bitly. Oh, Bitly. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that I want to add about Bitly is that you can actually track how many people click on that mm -hmm. link, and that's a very good thing. You want to see what the response is. Because let's say that you have 100 people and five response, well, you start to get a, you know, data. Data is always, it's always key. Um, did I give you enough information about Twitter? Yeah. yeah, it's not that difficult. You just gotta, if you're, and the, probably what's difficult for you is that if you're an article writer, you are used to many words. Mm -hmm. And then you go into microblogging and you're like, ah, I don't know what to say, it's too little. <laughs> and that's where you get frustrated probably. So just get used to saying the main title of what it is, and those 120 characters plus your link, you send it out, okay? And just keep keep in mind that you can tweet, tweet up to 18 times. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Just don't go over the 18 times. And always send valuable. You can ask you can ask questions and create a hashtag, like for say, what would you like to know about uh, mark online marketing this week? And then how? What's your company name? How many? Just, just your name. Will create a hashtag about the conversation.
conversation. It could be JC tips. Add JC tips. So everybody's going to respond, add JC tips. I want to learn about, and then you start a conversation. There. I don't have a I don't have a board here to explain all of that to be more visual. Okay? I, I should have it at the point so I only have one of the well, is Twitter about, is it still keywords are important or is it about the individual? Like no, it's about, it's about who follows you. The keyword, the keywords, it's important in your description. Okay? The keywords are important in your description. Like for say, in mine say the same thing, normal marketing, social media strategies. Okay? Mm -hmm. On Twitter, on your description. But the conversations, no. Two major things in Twitter is make sure that you only write 120 characters. Make sure that it's to the point. Make sure you redirect them. It could be a photo. You know, Twitter now is taking on photos, so you can upload a photo and then tweet about it. Okay, like at your location. You know, I did a lot of that at the Grammys when I went. So, yeah. Hey, I so, just, I, yeah. So great deal. I made this much amount of. That's a great tip. I made this amount of uh, amount of money, and then you take a picture of it with the check, and you tweet that. You know, everybody's gonna say, man, this girl is making deals. You know, this guy is making deals. You know? So it's like just your repair company is like, oh man, I just did this job, it was really complicated, but I had a, a, a happy customer. You know? And then a photo. And everybody can see the photo. So it's just like some bait? Yeah, I mean, just guys. little little blurbs. Little tiny blurbs. That's that's the thing that you got it's difficult sometimes because you wanna say so much. But like if you incorporate that and then send them somewhere else, that's really how the Twitter conversation works better. Okay? You found a great article about owner repairs. Tweet that out with the link. Hey, just wanted everybody about the tip of the week. Okay, or oh, every Monday. Okay, I need to say this talking about Mondays. <laughs> Do you guys know what's the number one online marketing failure, or oh, marketing failure for most entrepreneurs? Time of the week. Wrong day, wrong time. Yeah. No. Well, I was going to say about the same thing. Mm -hmm. the, day of the, week, the day of the week. Come on, people. You guys are all entrepreneurs. No calendar. No marketing calendar. Most entrepreneurs are just, oh, i got to send an email. <laughs> know what the hell they're going to do the, the year later, by December. So, see, uh, Coca-Cola knew what they were going to do for the entire year, by December of 2011, for this year. That's the biggest problem. Now, I'm not telling you sometimes you need to send something at the last minute, right? <laughs> it happens. We are creative people. But not having a calendar and taking advantage of major holidays, uh, uh, I don't know, cycles, like in real estate, I'm trying to think about real estate. So, yeah, well, yeah, of course, major holidays. Okay, you need to start thinking about, you need to know like a magazine, they know what the editorial is going to be in November, right? Because, I don't know, the fashion shows are coming. So, you gotta have a calendar. I, I run a, I advertise off of Craigslist, mm -hmm. and I do voice shot campaigns. Mm -hmm. So I take all the, for, in my case, all the for rent advertisements, mm -hmm. and I package them up, mm -hmm. and then on Fridays or even Sundays, and I shoot them out to be delivered on Monday mornings mm -hmm. at 9 a.m. And what I want to do, I don't want anyone to answer the phone. Uh -huh. So therefore, by the time the prospective client comes home, uh -huh. it's on their voicemail. Yeah, but that's a schedule that you have. Right. That's not your calendar strategy. That's different. It's very good that you actually have a schedule, so you know what what to do every Friday. You know, it's like with the real estate investor that we have. He was all over the place. He calls me and tells me, "I want you to do this and this and this and that." And I said, oh. <laughs> "I said that's great. I'll do that if you don't want it to work. <laughs> you can pay me, but we gotta test your campaign and your audience because I have no clue what they're responding the best." Right? So even if you have a schedule, that's great if you have tested. 
if you know that's the best time to send it, if you know that that's the best, to, I mean, that's great. That's the way to operate because now he has a little system. And that's what all of you need to achieve, a little system. All right? But, yeah, have your, going back to social media, because this is a lot to talk about social media. It's a lot to talk about everything, but let's focus to social media right now. Facebook. Who has questions about Facebook? Are you okay with Facebook? Yeah, I, I kind of get that. That's the only one I get. Okay. <laughs> uh, how many friends do you have on Facebook? Uh, over a thousand. Over a thousand. Okay. Uh, write this down. Facebook gives you a limit of 5,000 friends, but after that, it gives you a subscription. I do have a page, too, and I'm, I'm more focused on my business page. So I, I'm it's your more business even like, like, okay. I have a, a business yeah, Which is what you should do. Okay, but talking about your personal profile, you want to take a seat, ma'am? Okay. That's okay. Over here. Okay, <laughs> it's plenty of seats. <laughs> um, when it comes down to, to Facebook on your profile, you can have up to 5,000 friends. That's, that's the cutoff. But on your page, you can have millions of likes. It's no limit. Now, the way it works, and what I suggest, is that if you have 1,000 friends, but you focus on your page, always post on your page, and this goes for all of you. Post on your page and then share it on your personal because then those thousand people that are your friends, if they don't like your page, they'll still get the post. Okay? And if they want to share that post because they're your friends, then people will get to know your page because it shows share, right, by Wendy Pineda, and then via the buyer's element in this case, my page, my agency. So you always want to do the post on your page and then share it on your personal. The people that like you and like your page will get it twice, but no big deal. They don't get it's no it's no big deal. Okay? And I am very picky for this is just my personal choice. I don't accept just anybody on my personal page because I share kit things on my kids. Right? So whoever sends me a friend request on Facebook, I redirect them to my page. They're not my friend, friend, friend. You know, if it's somebody that I don't personally. Because you, you do, you do want to share still things, personal things online, if that's your choice, if you do like Facebook and all of that. But just be careful who you add as a friend. Always redirect everybody to like your page. Okay, that's the main thing. More when you're networking. All your business cards should go to your business page. Now, this is the interesting thing, and I don't have Timing out again? No, I'm just singing too late, but I should have installed my mom. I didn't know it was going to be getting me out like this. Yeah, they just, some, for some reason, they time you out of the hotels from the world. Well, the whole thing is that you have to have a, 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 nice. a welcome page. And then the welcome page is the same thing. You see, it's asking me to go from You just click connect no, it and it'll work. Facebook pages. Okay. <clears throat> I think if you just click, <laughs> see the connect where it's blue, just... That's all you need in your, your golden. Click on connect. And there might be a little thing right up above that. Well, not there, but... On the page. In, in the very middle of the screen. Connect the group box. Oh, no, I know, but it's asking for a promo code on this one. Oh, that one it is? Okay. Yeah, the AT&T wasn't. And I do have a phone that we can hook up to it. No, 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 no. They can just go to the class. I mean, anyway, so I don't want to talk about it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, if you guys want to go to facebook.com, the viral element, and you're going to see our Facebook page. And it's pretty much, it has a like booster, which is, which is, again, another way to get people in and to like your page. It's just this pop-up that forces people, like, I said, I, it's literally twisting people's arms, I'm not going to lie. It says to get my free ebook, you know, like the page, and then it reveals the content so they can get the, the, the book for free, so I get a like on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a great way to get people to like one of your page when you're promoting it. 
Because a lot of people sometimes go to the page and if they land on the wall, then it's, you don't know if they like it or anything. You always have to be focusing on your free content, sending them how they're going to get it. Like with me, they can go to the website, they have to put the name and email. They, they go to Facebook, they got to click on the like button. They text viral, well, you guys saw the campaign how it works, right? So that's just, you have to think on all your campaigns, how they work. Okay, always think about how they work. Um, when it comes down to social media, let's talk about LinkedIn. A lot of people don't consider LinkedIn, and it's very powerful. Now, who's in LinkedIn? Okay, do you use LinkedIn? How do you use LinkedIn? To connect with other professionals. Exactly. To provide services. Exactly. The great thing about LinkedIn is that it works through connections. So you have your first circle, which is the people that you know, and then the people that your friends know, it's your circle, the, your second circle of connections, and then you get to the third one. And that's when it starts to get tricky. LinkedIn has a paid program and a free program. If you want to just connect with total strangers, you have to pay the monthly fee. It's very powerful. Why? Because a lot, let me tell you this, it's turning around the business when it comes down to corporate. Because all these people have so many emails, but they're responding better to the emails they get on LinkedIn and faster than even their their inbox. When it comes down to business to business, it's a great way to promote yourself with uh, prospect customers and future customers. The other thing that you want to do on LinkedIn is your company page we, we spoke about. And you constantly want to be posting on LinkedIn just like you do on Twitter <coughs> and just like you do on Facebook, but remember the audiences on social media, they're all different, okay? Facebook is the biggest audience ever, okay? You've got to get in there. Twitter, if you don't really like Twitter, I don't want you to be so worried about it either, okay? When you tweet, you tweet, if it's not your thing, all right? Because it's going to show the quality of your work too, all right? So if you feel strong on Facebook, push Facebook bigger. Tweet, tweet once in a while. Okay, LinkedIn, it's another way of posting, all right? You've got to make sure that the content that they're getting there is, it has huge business to their business. So the conversation has to be very business and corporate oriented because you have a lot of white collar people on LinkedIn. I mean, not everybody is, but that's pretty much the conversation how it goes, is very business oriented. The other great thing that you can do, all of you, is create a group. A group. So if you're, if, if you are an expert in online marketing, also you can create a group. And keywords are key there. <laughs> okay. So let's say that I create a online marketing tips Los Angeles group, right? People are gonna find me through that. And you create a discussion there where you can do answer, questions and answers, and members of the group participate in all of that. So it's like a a small mastermind if you want or where you give information or updates to a certain group of people that like to talk about that topic with you. So think about a group topic oriented, okay? And that's part of social media also. Just take the conversation online just like we are person to person. Don't be afraid. But I'm going to tell you what's the key to all of this. Know your audience. Okay, who's following you, or who's liking you, or who's connecting with you, depending on what it is, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. <laughs> and understand what they want, what's the information, and this is the number one thing that I'm going to tell you, all of you, you've got to become more open.